It's Heather from Tomatoes Puppies, Everything Gardening. It is getting ready to storm. There are two projects I've been putting off. I'm going to combine them and get them done really quick. So I'm going to bring you with me. And this is going to be a money-saving um, video. The second part. The first part is um, kind of maintenance for my strawberries and my green stock. Getting them fertilized, getting them trimmed, pruned, ready for a harvest uh, that is soon to come. I think we have just enough time to get this green stock tower cleaned up from the radish. Uh, it's not radish actually, it's arugula and the thyme. Get our strawberries looking nice, fertilized. And we are going to divide this container of lettuce into many, many new little plants. We've had so much rain lately, it's not even funny. But look at this gorgeous lettuce. There are two. And I'm going to put the variety on the screen. I have to look at my notes. I'm thinking it might just be iceberg. A heading lettuce. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to put the name up for you. I had another variety growing, but it died during the winter. Our radishes. Uh, two different plantings. These were maybe two-ish weeks ago. And then I just put some seeds down maybe five days ago. Of course, the squirrels have been up here multiple times and I've had to reseed and put the soil back in. Um, so who knows what we will end up getting eventually. There's an overhead view of the lettuce. You can see it's trying to wrap around and head up. There are the radishes. So now I'm on the tier where I had planted arugula uh, late fall. We did eat some. And then of course by February, it started to bolt. And then it started to flower and usually what I'll do is I will dig this out and go plant it somewhere to have like a little uh, self-seeding arugula patch. I'm gonna have to go get Tonto. I see him over there being naughty. He's trying to eat something. Tonto, leave it. Okay, so I'm gonna take the arugula out and we're gonna, oh, there's a lamb squatter. That is technically a weed. Some people grow it though. And we will get this fertilized, get it trimmed up so our strawberries can get lots of sun. It's actually quite a bit of arugula there. So I need to go find somewhere to put that before the storms start. Um, but look, this layer has nothing but strawberries now. And we will, or I will here in just one second, come in here and prune and get rid of any of the black strawberries. It's just some cold damage. They're not going to recover. But the ones that are yellowy and pretty, they will definitely turn into beautiful, yummy fruit. So get this cleaned up, and then we're going to fertilize each level. And I need to take out uh, another big hunk of this thyme. I just did this in the late fall, trimmed it back to almost nothing. You can see it's very prolific. So I'm also doing a check for slugs and looking for babies. There's a baby and there's a baby. So if they stay where they're at, they're not going to get much light. They're going to get relocated. I'm going to take out the leaves or most of it because slugs like to live in wet, damp, things like this. Some weeds here and there. So the wind is starting to pick up, but I'm going to try to get done. Um, here's some, uh, here are babies that are farther along. You can see there's a bunch of them in there. This is a really pretty strawberry. So, um, you know, the bees have been busy over here on the fruits. However, very soon when the bees are about done, I will cover this with one of these protectors to keep um, mostly the squirrels. The birds usually don't go after my strawberries too much, but the squirrels, they are nonstop. See that little mama? She has a nest really close, and I am really cramping on her either nest making or baby watching, and um, she's not happy, so I need to hurry. All right, so I've made it to the bottom, and what I like to do with the strawberries is kind of rotate the placement. So when I put them back together, I'm thinking um, this one will be the bottom one this time, 
and then the ones that don't have um, a lot of plants will probably be near the top and I'll put the babies into those so they get more sun and on this bottom one here I have so many babies So I'm going to dig all those out and then uh, we will switch these around. In addition to fertilizing the strawberries in each tier, I'm going to add mosquito bits to help with the fungus gnats, which always seems to be a problem in the green stalks. So because of the squirrels digging so much, I'm also going to have to add some extra soil. Um, you can see, especially like this one, remember when you're either just adding soil to your strawberries or you're burying or planting a new plant, you do not want to bury the crown. You want the crown, which is this pinkish, vibrant area where the growth comes from. You want that above your soil level. So it did rain on me for just like three minutes. Tonto ran in, I stayed out, kept working. Um, got it all back together. The only thing I need to do now is show you how I'm going to divide that one little container of lettuce and we're going to plant it in the top two tiers. Uh, there's six um, pockets. Of course these have radishes. I am going to re-sow some more radish seeds since the squirrels obviously have been destroying them. And uh, then we'll go from there. Alright, now it's time to reveal how many plants are actually in this little container. I think I paid $3.99 and I'm hoping for at least 10 plants, which would be 39 cents a head of lettuce. I don't mind paying that, but I'm not going to pay, you know, five, six dollars for six heads of lettuce starts. Um, so let's see. That's the lettuce I uh, broke off of the green stock. This is organic butter crunch. I'm gonna get the roots wet. Should have done this about a week ago. It really compacted in the roots. Here we go. Here's one baby. There's two babies. Three, four, five, and, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Here's the twelfth one, but it looks, well, I'll use him. Let's say eleven and a half, thirteen, fourteen. Here's another half. It's kind of weak. So it was on fifteen. We'll say, we'll just say fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, but it's a baby. And this biggest one in the center was 24. All right, so we got about 24 plant starts. I would call that a bargain for organic butter crunch plant starts. So we got 24 plants. I had 12 empty pockets. I think there's a few on the next level that are empty. I may double a couple pockets up and put two plants per pocket. Yay, the sun's out. So I think what I'm gonna do is give this a quick rinse off. You can see it's very messy. And I am a very messy gardener. And I got some cleanup to do here. But I think I feel good that we got this done. Just uh, one more thing I wanna show you. It's in my back pocket. I did see a couple carpenter ants, so I'm going to find somewhere to safely put this where Tonto or no one can reach it and um, see if I can help control the carpenter ants. They were actually climbing on the green stock. Um, so we had about 24 plants from our $3.99 purchase, and I wanted to do just one per pocket or two, but we had so many I had to triple up. And I even had to add some to my uh, heading lettuce. My, I think it's iceberg, I'm pretty sure. I'll have to look that up. But we have plenty of lettuce, so I don't have to feel guilty about not starting uh, any lettuce when I should have. And now we will have lettuce for a couple months until it gets hot. Realistically, <laughs> it's probably gonna get hot real soon and 
uh, these will start to bolt probably in the next, let's see what is this, first week of April. We might be good until mid-May, June, but after June, it's just going to be too hot. So I need to get all the lettuce I can until then. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped to see the process of getting these strawberries prepared for the upcoming season. And then also a little bit of a money saving hack to get a lot of plants for one fair price. All right guys, have a great gardening week. Bye.